What day is it? I think it's day five. Really? Uh, wait. Five, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Six. I think it's day six. Okay, guys, so it's day six, and we are on our way to... Where are we going? We forgot the trash. Had to take out the trash. I guess it's my job. It's my responsibility. No, but you're the last one. Oh, it's okay. I'll take it. You can just put the plastic. Um, hold on. Let me put on shoes. Struggle. So we're going to Ueno Park first. Where is it? In Ueno, obviously. I'm gonna wear Roshi's just cause my boots. What are you doing? You're messing up the vlog. No, I'm just trying to move it. Oh. Well, um, my boots give me blisters, so I'm gonna wear Roshi's. What the fuck is this pink shit? Ew, whatever. No one's gonna see it. Okay, so I'll check you guys out later. Oh, my, my hair, my head's floppy now. So like I said, it's day six. We're gonna go to Wendo Park, and then I think we're gonna go to a sumo wrestling um, restaurant. And then after that, we're gonna go to this oh Imperial Palace. And also the last thing is we're gonna go to a light show. Where is it at? I have no idea. I forgot where it is. Elevator right now. By the way, this is our Airbnb place. Um, we're gonna take out the trash right now. There's Michelin, or Michelin. <laughs> just kidding. I think we just said it here. I have no idea what that says. Oops. That's what someone did. Wait, remember we can't get locked out. Oh, okay. I was gonna take you guys in the front, but never mind. I don't know where to take out the trash, so. Wait, did we try this door? <laughs> this fit? Was this the door that Irvin tried? Yeah. No, because it doesn't fit. That's a room key. It wouldn't fit there. How about that's not? And we'll just set it here. Um, if you guys are Japanese and you're watching this video, I don't know what the sign says, but we're gonna leave it here. We're not trying to litter purposely, but we really can't find where to dispose of our garbage. Even though the Airbnb people told us that to leave our garbage outside there, but there's no like specific designated area to put it away <sighs> so yep we're in this alleyway i'm not sure if i showed you guys the rain, outside right? no it just said it's gonna be cloudy a little bit sunny okay you guys we're at a bakery restaurant this is curry pond this is a hot dog I don't know what the proper Japanese term is, but it looks like it has cheese on top with the hot dog. And then what's that? She doesn't know, but that's curry pan also. So we're just eating our um, breakfast on the go. So it's considered rude if you eat and walk at the same time. So that's why we're just chilling, sitting down. And then after that, we're gonna start our day. So catch you guys later. So this is what inside a curry pan is. There's curry inside. And then this, I still have to take a bite of this. And I think that's like an onion. Makes it a bit, it's, it's really good actually. It's like a Japanese American hot dog version. All right, sorry, that wasn't the focus. Anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that we are at Uena Park now and we just went up that temple. Um, I don't really know the proper term of what it's called, but um, at the temple there's like this rope and attached on the top is this loud um, gong. So you just hang onto the rope and you just ring it twice and then you just say a little prayer afterwards um look at this, this view it's currently winter time here in japan so hence the beanie and the scarf no i think it's spring or fall fall really it's pretty cold for fall here i'll show you guys what i did at the temple look at my phone don't want to show you guys my password. Crap. Um, 
Oh, hello. Wait, hold up, hold up. This one did. So yeah, I just went inside the temple. I banged it twice. That's it. Um, are we gonna go down those stairs? Maybe. We just climbed. We just climbed. We just climbed a lot. They have a zoo here too. Um, what are we gonna do? Just explore and be with nature and shit, you know. <laughs> what? Cherry blossoms only last for one week. Last for one week or blossom for, blossom one, week? for one week? Or is that the same thing? The Where? What fish? <clears throat> oh my gosh. There's fish in there. I don't know if you guys can tell. What the? Don't fuck push me. You're blue. You're gonna turn blue. Cold blue when I knock your ass out. <laughs> so it's kind of barren and dead, obviously, because it's gloomy and not the season. Okay, let's go here. I don't know if it's. I'm not that cold, but I think it's because I'm bundled up now. My pants are falling. You guys, we were, I think, on NH, NHK. It's a Japan television news. Yeah, we were there. They were asking us about sumo questions, and I don't know what to say. So I'll tell you guys about it later. These are all the past sumo wrestlers in history. Sorry, you guys. I couldn't really record at the sumo museum because um, recording there is actually prohibited. But, um, yeah. But I, the previous clip that I showed you regarding the newscast people, so they just randomly approached us and asked us, because obviously we look like tourists, they just asked us, where are you from? It was a really nice lady. She asked us, where are you from? We said, oh, USA, California. And then I asked, oh, so who are you guys? And then she said that they're from what? RH or H? RH? I think RH um, Productions, which is like a news a new show here I guess from Japan um, she just asked us like oh do we know anything about sumo wrestling and why do we like it and I said we have no idea what it or we we don't really know much of it which is why we're interested in watching it but there's no sumo tournament but I think we're trying to find like a sumo show um, that might happen uh, we're trying to look for it right now though but yeah I told the newscast people I said um, yeah, sorry. I think we're the wrong people because we don't really know anything much of it. <laughs> so, just so that we can end it and I guess for it to be less awkward, I guess. But they were very, very kind though. She spoke great English too. Mm. Oh, so this is like a dinner and a show thing? So we go in here. So this meal right here is made for a sumo wrestler. But tell me why I think I can actually eat everything there. I think because I'm a fat ass. But I already know that. Anyways, what I like most about Japan is that when before you enter a restaurant, there's a glass clay. Oh, glass case. Okay, <laughs> glass case, and it presents to you what food they offer here. I don't know if it's all of it, but I, but they show you like a few of their menu items. <laughs> So these are the foods that's gonna be offered here at the sumo restaurant. We're just waiting for it to open. It's gonna open within like a few minutes at 16 o'clock, aka 4 o'clock. I'm taking you guys along with us. I don't know. I don't see them do it. So we just got to our table. They gave us warm towels to cleanse our hands. And so it's gonna be a dinner and a show, I believe. This is where the sumo wrestlers will be. Those huge shoes, I wonder if I can fit in there. Here's our table. Oh, and there's a call button, I guess, to order. Oh, Princess, we should look at the menu now. Oh wait, this one? Oh, duh, it's right here in front of us, whoops. So we ordered sushi. This is our grilled, yes, grilled gyoza. Came out with the oil, and this is, I want to say fish sauce. And then we also have our chicken that's on the way soon, so I'll show you guys in there. Okay, 
So now we have our chicken, our salad, and our gyoza. Salad? Or salad. What did I say? Salad. Sushi. <laughs> See, I want a salad, guys. Fried gyoza and chicken, and now we can eat now. Okay, you guys, this food is amazing. The chicken is so juicy and crispy. The, gyo the grilled gyoza is like to die for, and then we already finished the sushi. <laughs> yep, still struggling with chopsticks. So this is black sesame ice cream, right? The rice flour dumplings with cream, mint on top, and what's that piece, princess? Um, what? What's this? I think it's um, sesame. Oh really? Oh, okay. So, yep, we're gonna eat that, and then after that, we're gonna go to Rapunki Hills to see the light show. And I'll take you guys with us. We are at. Midtown Christmas at Rapongo. So it's basically like an illuminated garden. I'll show you the, the the biggest, prettiest one. This is just the starting point. So the lady told us to follow all the illuminated trees and it will get us to our destination. We're here. Let me try to find a good spot for you guys. A good view. Look at all this. Oh, come on, I'm small. Fit me, let me fit in. Oh, crap. I don't even think this video is doing its justice. Ooh, oh my gosh, that's really pretty. World of color? What? <laughs> Alright, you guys. So are done for today it's almost 8 p.m i believe um the last time i showed you i believe we were at the rapongi oh rapongi oh yeah rapongi so um just to go to the light show so now we are at Oksa, which is our city that we're at we're staying at we're gonna go to a convenience store called lawson station lawson mart i'm sorry yeah, Lawson right store. Yep, right here. This is their convenience store here. It's really neat. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, it's a melon pen. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna get my rice crackers. What is that? Balls, remember? Oh, sweet balls. Oh, yeah, sweet balls. Face masks here because that's what a lot of the Japanese people wear in order to prevent sickness. And of course your toiletries. I'm getting these salty rice snacks. These are super good. Um, I'm thinking I'm getting like milk tea, but kind of scared because um, I have tummy aches because I'm lactose. Oh, more chips. Oh, this is seaweed, and I know there's um, seaweed covered in it, and it's rice, I believe. I hope I got the right one because this is the salty chips. I really hope this is right. It's a hundred. Oh, perf. Only a hundred yen. Oh, this is their version of Oreos. So there's more sweets. Oh, there's pets. We have that in our room. Choco pie. They have some American candy. I'm going to buy snacks later for... Um, Souvenirs for my for my people that I like. <laughs> I act like I don't even like a lot of people. Oh, there's Japanese mayo, ketchup, different soy sauces. All right, you guys. So we made it to our place now. We're gonna go say goodnight because we want to go eat our dinner. Question mark. Good night. Good night, Michelin. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is my dinner. Rice crackers, cause. I'm not that hungry because of what we ate. I ate too much chicken at the sumo restaurant, which was so bomb, by the way. Um, okay, wait, mini, mini haul before we say goodnight. Princess got a drink. What kind of drink is that? Orange juice. 
orange juice, your cult. Um, what is mochi? She thinks it's mochi. What are these? Balls. Oops. What are those? Rice balls. Huh? Rice balls. Really? This? Yeah. That's not squid balls? No. Oh. It's sweet. Oh, it's sweet. Um, oh, so that's what you were wearing. Yeah, I was wearing this top. Anyways. Um, did I show you guys a refrigerator? I don't know if I did. Anyways, I have crap puffs in there. Haven't used them yet. Um, because we're always on the go. So, anyways, um, I want to say goodnight to you guys because I never end the vlogs. <laughs> um, this is day six, I think. Yeah, day seven is tomorrow. What adventures do we have in, in store for tomorrow? I know we're going to go to Shibuya at night so we can check out the pedestrian crossing at nighttime because Shibuya is a really big um, plaza city. I guess you can think of it as if it's Times Square in New York City. A um, bunch of shops there. So we're going to check that out at nighttime. There's going to be a lot of people there, of course, because it's Japan. There's always a lot of people. So anyways, good night and see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <gasps> Wait, why is there princess? I think it's closed. Oh wait, what's dinner? Dinner 18. Oh, that's